Hey, I am so glad you came in today. Hi, Amal. What's up? Thanks for asking. I want to run something by you, if that's okay. Do I have a choice? See, that's why I value your advice. You're smart. Your suggestion for dealing with that aggressive lady was perfect. She told me she respects me now as a bartender. That's great. But now, I want to ask you about a woman who moved in across the lane from me. Her name's Karila, and she's really nice, and I kind of like her a lot. So, what's the problem? Okay, she says there's a package coming for her, and if she's not home, will I look after it? What did you tell her? Here's the thing, she's beautiful, but mysterious, so I never gave her an answer. What do you think I should do? I don't know. I'd find out what's inside the package before taking it. That's what I was thinking. Better to be safe than sorry, right? I was worried her friendliness and looks and dark, smoky eyes were affecting my decision-making. They probably still are. <laughs> you are so right. They, they probably still are. Thanks for the advice. I'll let you know what happens. You're welcome. Can I order now? Ah, <laughs> oh yeah, that's probably why you came in here. Freelancer, I hear Matthias. Uh, the Matthiases are safe? For now, at least. Wonderful. Matthias can be difficult, but I can't imagine the Arcanist Order without him. Sounds like there's a story here. You did refer to him as that jerk when we first met. I did? No, I probably did. That sounds like me. It's a professional rivalry. And he borrowed my horoscope and never gave it back. I'm sure there was a good reason for that. He just forgot he had it, then he lost it, and... Well, Matthias is single-minded in the pursuit of his studies. It means he forgets other things. Other people. It makes him a great Arcanist, but a terrible friend. Or partner. Wait, you do? Very briefly. We realized early on that it wasn't going anywhere. Matthias's first and only love is the work. You could probably say the same about me. No one becomes an Arcanist to go only part way. It requires everything you have. I get it. It's like being a freelancer. Exactly. You risk everything. No one does that just for fun. As Arcanists, every time we deal with a Shaper instrument, we understand we could die or be divided in three. You have to believe in the work hard enough that it makes you a little loopy. You know? Who else would do this? Is it worth it? Absolutely. <laughs>